It's a fantastic collection, which we've entitled Pursuit of Refinement, because all of these works, which on the face of it might seem rather different, are unified by an amazing attention to detail. We're very excited to be selling a group of paintings from a collection formed by a Spanish collector, Juan Manuel Grasset, bought from the 1970s right through to the early 2000s. There's a very fine group of Dutch and Flemish still life paintings, complementing that a group of landscape paintings and an absolutely fantastic painting by Canaletto. This is a banquet painted in Harlem around 1614 by an artist called Floris van Dyck. It's a seminal work in the development of still life painting in Harlem. And in it, you see a wide variety of objects. You have everyday things like the cheese in the middle of the composition, beautifully painted, and then a series of much more exotic objects, in particular, these wonderful Wanli porcelain vessels from China. It's a tour de force painting, and it displays the extraordinary skill of an artist who's able to portray all these different things with such incredible realism. I love this wonderfully quirky picture by Peter Benoit, who's a German artist and working mostly in Frankfurt and Hanau. What marks it out for me as being particularly special is this wonderful citron that you have in the middle of the composition with its rough skin beautifully captured by the artist. And then the live birds, as what seems to be a sparrow on the upper left and this fantastic quail incongruously standing right in the middle of the composition looking out at us. We now move on to Antwerp, where this beautiful still life of plums, peaches on a pewter plate was painted in around 1625 by Jakob van Holsdonk. I really love the stark simplicity of this picture. It's a painting which is unusually on copper, a very fine surface, which allows the artist to achieve an incredible level of finish. And you see that in the bloom that he gets on the surface of the plums, the light on the cherries, and in particular these extraordinarily realistic water droplets that you see on the leaves and the ledge in front of you. Staying in Antwerp, here is one of the most magnificent pictures in the collection, this extraordinary still life by Osias Beert the Elder. Now here you have a painting which is really four still lives in one. It's not only the largest painting by Beert we know, but it really is one of the most important early still lives that's ever come down to us. And of course, as with so many still life paintings, there is another message here because the transience of life is something that all still life painters really alluded to in their works. And you see that here in the fallen petals on the ledge and in the wormholes in the leaves. We're going to move forward in time to one of the latest delights in the collection and perhaps the finest by the great artist Jan David Stahin. In this small picture, we see a white rose flanked by two pink roses, a variegated tulip above, and then some fantastic incidental details, little insects and some snails. One of the most wonderful things I find about this picture is the way the artist has painted the vase, because not only do you see the stalks of various flowers beautifully portrayed within the water, but the reflections of light from outside too. It's a Baroque masterpiece in miniature, and it's the jewel in the crown of this absolutely remarkable collection. This is a collection formed over 40 years by a remarkable collector. And December in London is the last chance you'll have to see it all together in one place. Do come and look. <laughs>